We'll turn on the gray solid once again and take a look at the paint strokes that we've created. We'll select it and open up the parameters. Here we'll see that there are effects and twirling down those effects we'll see that there is the effect paint. If we use F3 to bring up our controls panel we see that there is an effect here and the effect has only one parameter which allows us to paint on transparent. We won't choose that but instead we'll look down in our timeline. In the timeline we'll see that there are several brushes for the amount of strokes that we've created. The first brush stroke we created with the mouse. The soft horizontal brush stroke at the top. Brush 2 and brush 3 were created with the custom brush and their duration was set to one frame under the paint options. We'll select brush 3 then hold the shift key down and select brush 2 as well then use the backspace or delete key to delete those. Next I'll navigate up to the paint options and choose a color for paint. I need to have the paintbrush selected in the toolbar. One method is to navigate over to the toolbar and select the paintbrush tool. But instead I can also use control B or command B on a Mac to activate the tool. Once that tool is activated I can then choose a color. I'll choose a color by simply clicking on one of the color chips. Here I'm creating a foreground color. We'll use the Adobe's color picker to pick a color. A simple orange will do and click OK. With this selected we still see that we're in our composition and we need to get over into our layer window. With the brush stroke selected we'll double click and now we're in our layer window. I'm going to leave the brush stroke duration in my options to a custom value of 1. We'll see why in a minute. I'll draw one stroke with the mouse this way. Then I'll draw another squiggle with the mouse this way. Now in the timeline I can see that brush 2 and brush 3 have been added and they are only one frame in duration. In the paint options I had set the mode to normal but in the timeline I can change the transfer mode by changing it here. By changing the transfer modes here I don't change the options for any additional paint strokes I create only for those paint strokes that I've already created and only for those brush strokes. I'll change brush stroke to an add mode or maybe leave it simply as normal. With brush 2 selected I can see that there's an anchor point for my brush stroke where I began the stroke itself. And then there's a path that goes along the brush stroke as I drag the mouse. That brush stroke has transformation values and I can see that by opening up the parameters for brush 2. I'll hold down the spacebar and get the hand icon and then move the timeline so that I can see more of those options. Here I can see that not only is brush 2 defined by a path, but stroke options for how that path is stroked are also here. The stroke options are very much like the paint options in the brush tips. We'll skip start and end for now and take a look at the color. We can change the color by clicking on the color chip or the eyedropper to pick a new color. Again, clicking on the color chip brings up our color picker now we can pick any other color that we want to change the entire stroke to. We can modify the diameter, which is the size of our brush, here. We can change the angle and even the hardness and the roundness and if we move down we can see that there's also spacing, the way that it's presented on the color channels, the opacity and flow. Now that we have a brush stroke created, let's take a look at the spacing value. It's set to 25% by default, but if we increase the spacing, we increase the amount of space between each drop of paint that After Effects is applying to our path. I'll increase this to 100% so we can see exactly what's happening here. Now we can see the shape of the brush and between the shape of a brush, a large gap. If we increase this further, we can increase the gap between each brush stroke. If we change this down below 25%, you may not necessarily see much difference in the gap between each deposit of paint. Note that most of these parameters here in the timeline have a stopwatch, and with the stopwatch comes animation. So we can animate each one of these parameters over the course of time, but only where the brush stroke exists. If I set a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch for color here, then move out to 10 frames, the strokes for brush stroke 2 and brush stroke 3 disappear. 
I'll change the color anyway and click OK. The reason the brush stroke disappeared was that we had set the paint stroke in our options for a custom value of one frame. We'll navigate up to the top and see where this brush stroke exists. There's a layer for each individual brush stroke and I can modify this by simply clicking on the out point and dragging it to extend that brush strokes layer. With this extended, I can now see the animation for the color over time. We'll see brush stroke 3 pop on as I get to frame 0. Now this animates the stroke options, but if I twirl this up, I can see that there are also transformation options for this particular brush stroke. By opening this, I can see that there is an anchor point, position, scale, and rotation values for this brush stroke. These are completely different from the transformation values for the entire layer. Remember, we're painting on a layer, and that layer has its own transformation values that will move all of these strokes around with it. But I can also animate the individual stroke without animating the position of the layer. With the stroke selected, I can change the position by modifying the values for the position of the brush. Clicking and dragging changes the position, and note, I can keyframe this as well. With the brush tool selected, I can use the arrow keys to modify the position of the brush stroke. I can use plus or minus on the number pad to change the rotation value. Remember, the shift key will multiply the modifier key. So if I hold the shift key down, then use the minus key on the number pad, I'll start to decrease the rotation by 10%.